In this optional video, we are going to take a look in some uh, R applications in my own workplace uh, projects that I have uh, helped develop or developed. So, first, there is uh, the, the in the AgroClimate website is the website in which I work with. Uh, m most of the tools are made with uh, the R, not not the web pages, but the uh, statistical analysis behind. So, for instance, this page here is the Strawberry Advisory Systems. It simulates uh, disease infections in the strawberries here for Florida, based on weather data. So the website is made in in PHP, but the models, the when you click here, see like. There is a this graph was made in R. It's based on the weather data retrieved by w from the weather stations in a similar fashion that uh, we have seen in the course. And here is a is a model that is run to calculate the infection index and to estimate what is the risk. The idea of this tool is to make the the strawberry produces to apply less fungicide because they usually apply in a fixed schedule uh, because the risk of a fungi infection can, can completely destroy uh, the whole production so they are very uh, afraid of it and so they apply a lot but with this tool you know that uh, most of the times there is absolutely no risk we know that most of the fungi needs uh, moist and temp a certain amount of moisture and a certain amount of temperature so that's what this tool is about. All, th all these graphs are made in R and the data retrieval, the simulations, the rules. Uh, another tool that I developed is the Citrus Copper application schedule. Copper is also used for uh, as a um, uh, to fight fungi infections but this web this website actually uh, calculates how much there is uh, remaining uh, copper after an application so let's make any application here and add another application and when I go to simulate here this actually all this data is sent to an R simulation which produces this graph here which is like a graph with the uh, copper residue and then there is the, the blue bars is the rain of this day because the copper is uh, influenced a lot by the rain when it rains it washes out the copper and this is another tool that comes to replace the traditional schedule they have a schedule of like applying every 21 days and we have shown with simulations and the experiments that it's not necessary to apply every 21 days it's uh, especially when it's not raining you can go even sometimes uh, two months without applying copper so yeah like all the simulation runs in R these graphs are made in R and also we deal with um, uh, with maps so this is the this is still a, a pilot is a project that we are still working with or working on it's a um, this map shows the daily evolution of the arid, which is a drought index for agriculture for southeast of Florida. We use the data from NOAA. We import this data. It's a grid data, a, w a grid weather data, and we run a simulation on top of every grid in R and then plot these maps using GSTAT. The, the animation is made uh, also in R, but using um, uh, another software it's called image magic and so you can produce animated plots then with this software and yeah we can see here it's very interesting this map right the you can see the how the oops, how the drought evolves on on Florida during this period of the last year and all of that can be made automatic automatic because the data is always retrieved, uh, new data from NOAA. And I also use R for uh, uh, the machine learning, the Kaggle machine learning competitions. It's a really useful tool. So I hope with this video you were able to see how, 
how how it's very applicable in the uh, real world applications, the R language. So see you next time.